Example 8.4. MKZ Airlines is planning a project investment. The purchase of three Cessna aircraft to fly a specific route. The cost of acquisition of aircraft, including all charges, is $2 million. It's expected that one year net revenue from the operations will be $1.5 million. This is exactly like 8.1. And thereafter, the aircraft will be sold for $1.2 million. This yields a total net cash flow of $2.7 million from operations. The alternative opportunity MKZ is considering is to invest money in more risky. Now, in 8.1, the investment alternative investment was a safer 3.5%. Now, this is more risky, longer duration bonds at 4.5%. We need to do the same calculations, calculate the opportunity cost of capital, the present value of cash inflows, and the net present value of cash outflows minus in inflows. So let's go to this example. I'm going to lay it side by side with example 8.1 so we can have a better idea. And so here we go. The opportunity cost. So we uh, will first find out the present value of cash inflow. So we can use it calculate it using two functions. One of them is the PV function, present value. R wait, wait, wait. So 4.5. Actually, let's keep it 3.5, like an example 8.1. So you'll see present value, rate, number of periods, payment is zero. There's nothing in between, minus future value and type. So this gives us 2.608. Now, we just change the opportunity cost of capital, the present value becomes 2.583. So, just something to note. And then net present value is the present value of the future inflows minus, not minus because it's already negative, the cash outflow today. So, as we can compare with 8.1, as the rate goes up, let's just put it here, rate and then this is future value, this is present, actually this is CF0, this is CF1, this is PV underscore CF1, and then this is NPV. Same thing here. So the as the rate goes up, the NPV goes down. That's the big key learning here from example 8.4. Thank you for listening.